Is time retroactive? Hey, going guys, Campbell here from Autodidactic. And of course, autodidactic means to be self-educated. So time, what is it? Let's get into it. So they tell us that time doesn't exist. All there is is now. And I tend to agree. So what is the past? I mean, we, we know, right? The past is just a story. It's his story, just a story that we're being told. And clearly, whatever happened in the past has been changed. We're not getting the real story here, right? So what is time? Is it retroactive? And what does that mean? That means does, does the past change when we change in the present? We have this thing called the Mandela effect and the Mandela effect has been around for a while now, but what, what is the Mandela effect? It seriously makes no sense at all. Okay. That looks like evidence. I mean, to me, it is evidence that the past is changing. We clearly have people down in this realm who have different memories of the past. How can that be? You know, how can, books change how can logos change all these things that are changing bible verses you know how is it possible that some people remember one past and other people remember a different past i mean clearly to me that is saying that the past is not stagnant it, it's not a fixed thing it is fluid it changes it changes with our perception which means, in my perspective, that when we change in the present, when we change who we are, when we change our thoughts, our belief systems, that that affects the past, right? Like we, we all know, we all, well, we're all told, and most of us believe that we can change the future, which in itself is a little bit weird because the future hasn't happened. So how can you change something that hasn't happened, right? But but we all, you know, kind of believe that we have control over the future and that with our actions now that we can create different pathways forward. So is that concept also the same for the past, for what's happened, you know, in our history in, in the past? Is that true? Because the way I look at it is it's like it's like a Taurus, right? And we are in the middle. We are the now point. And from that now point, you know, we have these waves of energy, these waves of consciousness going forwards and backwards, which means that we can change the past and the future from now. now we are the power, right? We are the creators. We create reality. And of course, we all create our own reality because there's two realities down here for everyone. We have our own internal reality, right? We're all in our own little world and we have the collective reality. And of course, the collective reality is what the they, them <laughs> can affect, right? Through all their media, through all the news and the songs and the movies and all this kind of stuff, they can get us to believe certain things. And when most of the people believe something, they create that, right? Because we are the creative force. But we also have our own world, which we can affect. So we can change our past and our future based on what we do in the now. So if that's true, you know, if, if this is true, if, if the past and the future are fluid and ever changing and the only real time, the only thing that we really have is now, then doesn't that mean that we can create a whole new reality like when we change now the past has to change to suit our belief system or our mindset right now and of course beliefs i know a lot of people say well beliefs you know are bad the beliefs is you know beliefs are the enemy of knowing all this kind of stuff look that is true if you're believing what someone else tells you so that's the outer reality the collective thought but you can believe in yourself. You can believe that things are going to get better. You can believe good things as well as bad things. So belief is just belief. 
right? It's neither good or bad because nothing is good or bad, right? But thinking makes it so. So is the past retroactive? What do you think? We have the Mandela effect. We have people who cure themselves instantly of diseases, diseases, you know, things like Big C, right? Uh, and, you know, if you look into the work of Dr. Joe Dispenza, people are curing themselves of all types of things, but they change it instantly. It's the same kind of story that we hear in religious texts when we hear about miracles. How is that possible? How is it possible that someone has a disease or an injury and they can change it instantly? Instantly, everything changes. They change it in the now. And it's almost like the, they, they change the past, right? Because there's people, you know, to say in wheelchairs who haven't walked for years and in the now with their minds, with their, with their belief systems, they can heal themselves, which means did the past ever exist, that past where they were in the wheelchair, did it even exist? Or have they changed that past in the present so that their present changes so that that story never happened? Because to me, that makes a lot of sense, right? That these people who are curing themselves of diseases and things, they are changing the past that they lived and that changes their present instantly. I mean, it's an interesting concept, isn't it? Like we're in the now and we're radiating out thoughts to the present and to the past. And that means that we have total control. We are total creators. We're creating our lives now from the moment. And I think it's it's pretty obvious with things like the Mandela effect that that this is happening, you know, and we have, you know, the, the group think and they're all creating what the they then want. But those who can be autodidactic, right, those who can educate themselves and think for themselves can actually change themselves in the present, which means they've they've erased that past that got them to where they were, right? They can change their story of the past, no matter what that might be, you know, you know, whatever. It could be a disease, it could be an injury, it could be relationships, it could be money, it could be anything. But to me, the only way that you can erase a history, which is what seems to be happening, is that we're actually changing, we're altering the past, right? We, we can't actually alter the future, though. So again, it's, it's been turned upside down in my point of view. And they tell us you can change the future, but again, the future hasn't happened. So all you can do is change the future. Well, I guess all you can do is create the future, right? Create the future you want because the future is perceived just like the past is. And they tell us that that's the only thing that we can change, but that's not true. Clearly that's not true because it hasn't happened. All we can change is the now. And if we can change ourselves in the now, in the present, then that affects the past and the future. And that's how we change. We are literally rewriting our story, just like they wrote his story, right? So what do you think? Is time retroactive? Can our belief system in the present change the past what do you think let me know in the comments because it's a concept that i've been rolling around now for, for you know quite a while and the more i think about it the more it's making sense to me life is fluid right time doesn't exist and all there is is the now and a story a story of the past and we all know that stories can be altered and stories can be rewritten like it's happening in the physical world all the time, but can it happen on a more, you know, mental, spiritual basis, shall we say? Like, do we have absolute total control of what we're creating? Because I believe we do. So I would say, you know, don't believe what people tell you. Get out there and educate yourself. And more than that, come to your own conclusions and then believe in yourself, believe in your conclusions. Believe that your story is right for you. It doesn't have to be right for anyone else. It doesn't. That's not what we're here for. We're not here to be led around by other people's belief systems. We're here 
to create our own belief systems and to stand in that power. And when we do that, we have total creative force to change the past, the present, and the future. So let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. Is the past retroactive? And, uh, of course, give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell, all that kind of good stuff. And thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now. Remember in the end, nobody wins unless everybody wins. Come!